And so I'm going to start with making some um, an aromatic flavoring for the lamb. And for that, we're using the fresh rosemary that we got. And you don't want to use dried rosemary for this because it just wouldn't be the same. Too dry, too medicinal. But to get rosemary off the stem, just push it like that. See? It comes right off. So we have rosemary, and I like to add some fresh thyme. So here we have fresh thyme. And again, you just want to take those leaves off the stem. Then I add just a couple cloves of garlic, and I'm going to put a little salt with this. So that's help, going to help this make sort of a paste. So a little salt and a little pepper. And then we just want to mince this all up. And, and it, if you work with fresh herbs, you're going to find that when you do this, not only do you have great flavor, but you have a great smell as well. It's a little olive oil to that, just to make it pasty. Use my hands just to mix that up. And because we're going to have potatoes with this, we're going to roast the potatoes with this, I'm just going to cut up those nice red skins that we got in half. You want to wash them first, of course. And I'll tell you a little trick about this. If you don't want to just roast these in the pan with the lamb right away, you could microwave them just till they're somewhat soft and then finish them off in the pan later. That's, that's a, a faster way to get them done. So now a little bit of olive oil with some rosemary. Again, a little salt, some pepper. We want to toss these potatoes right in that mixture. Just toss them in that. I like to do the cleanest part of the cooking first because I have to use the same board to prepare the lamb. So I didn't want to mix meat juices with my vegetables. So you get your your potatoes ready and then you can set that aside have some kitchen string ready and now with perfectly clean hands I want to give this some salt a little salt I like to use sea salt for this some pepper Rub that all over the meat. And then you can put on that aromatic mixture of your herbs, pressing it right into the meat. Now, you could also put some cheese on with this if you wanted to, like you could use some pecorino cheese with this. That would be very abruzzese because as Joe was telling us, we have a lot of sheep in Abruzzo where he comes from and of course the lamb. So that looks good. So now I'm just going to turn this around and roll it. Roll it up. You see I still have a nice layer of fat on this. That's going to help keep that really nice and juicy. Now meanwhile you want to preheat your oven I start at 400 degrees. Preheat the oven to 400 first, and then I cook the lamb at a high heat like that just for about five minutes. Then I'm going to lower the temperature to 350 and finish roasting the lamb at 350. Now, I don't like it dry. I like it when it's still pink in the middle. I want to take a little bit of olive oil, put it right over the meat, just like that. Doesn't this look good? Spread it all over. And then rub on a little bit more of the salt and the pepper. Easy to do going to be delicious. The meat goes in. Those delicious looking potatoes get mixed around. You have your thermometer ready. This is ready to go in the oven. 
Thank you.